Hi, I'm Sharon Collins with Georgia Outdoors. One of my favorite shoots was a day I spent with a border collie and sheep. Now, border collies are herding dogs and are widely considered the most intelligent breed in the world. Border collies just want to round things up. We spend a lot of hours guiding from the puppy stage to this stage. Neil is about a, he's an almost four year old border collie. He's, um, so we'll, we'll send him around. Uh, so if I want to bring the sheep back to me, shh, I'll just send him and he'll go get around the, the, board, the sheep and start fetching him back this direction. That's amazing, all you had to do is that little noise. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna send him around to the clockwise side. <whistles> Lie down. So if I want him to go counterclockwise, his word is way. I can lie him down. That's his lie down whistle. He has a walk straight in command. Lie down, lie down, or walk up. Lie down. So every word has a corresponding whistle. So if I want him to come count, uh, clockwise, his, his word is come by, come by. Lie down, lie down, lie down. And then he has a whistle for that as well. Lie down. So again, so if I want to say push him out to that far corner. Spending a day with Brian Cash is like going back in time. Brian is a shepherd. He has more than 400 head of sheep, and he says this border collie is better than any piece of farm equipment he owns. To me, he's, he's my perfect picture. He's a smart dog, he's a very athletic dog. He really wants to do his job, he loves what he does. I mean, this is all he lives for. He, he can be a good pet and then he loves attention and he loves to be loved on. But really, at the end of the day, all he really wants to do is get out and work his sheep. And so- It seems to, when you give a command, it's not just what you say, it's the intensity with which you say it? Absolutely, so I can vary. So again, they come with five commands and you can vary all those commands a good bit. So if I want a fast, hard action, I'll give that, that word or the whistle with a really fast, hard emphasis. If I want long and slow and very calm, I'll stretch my words out or stretch my whistle out so it's long and slow. So like right now, I want him to go out and gather those sheep up. Neil, that'll do. Neil, here, look, stay, <laughs> come by. So that's that'll send him, right, so that'll send him clockwise Just around the sheep. Just that calm little. Mm -hmm. So you see he's now gotten behind the sheep and he's mm -hmm. just gonna start fetching him back to us. I'm gonna send him around over to the okay. counterclockwise side a little bit. And he knows the sheep wanna go that way, so he's traveling a little bit on this side trying to keep him over here. Way, 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 way. Lie down, lie down. And then we'll send him around the other way. Sheep are so funny. But the sheep are always- With a bit of coaching, I am actually able to move the sheep around with the help of Jen. Here, try this one. Step over here and tell her to come by. Okay. Lie down, lie down. Now do it. Come by. There you go. So let her go on around your sheep, and then when she gets behind him, tell her W-A-L-K-U-P. Jen, walk up. There you go. Good. So Here's walk out again towards me and let her just keep bringing those sheep to you. That's the reward of taking the command. And if you want her to go uh, counterclockwise, give her a W-A-Y. Way, way, all okay. the way around. Way, way. There you go. Lie down. Lie down. Perfect. We walk to the pond where the dogs take a plunge and we see yet another example of that incredible herding instinct. Brian told Neil to bring the rest of the flock over, but the flock had moved. No matter, he brought us what he found. But I'll be busy trying to keep, oh, oh we got cows instead. <laughs> Way, way, stay, come by, come by, come by, come by, stay, stay. Way, way, way. It takes a lot of guts for a 35 pound animal to take on a 600 or 800 pound cow. Come by, <laughs> come by. You said you said bring something. Well, uh, right. you did. He brought us cows. Stay, lie down. Lie down. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. Isn't that funny? He said, well, you said find something, so I did. And here you see the fierce, intimidating stare these collies are known for. All right, y'all want to run down the road? We'll go see some puppies. Puppies are wonderful. <laughs> Every time I say puppies, I think of um, 101 Dalmatians. Oh, right, puppies. puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have the definition of cute. They look like little pandas, but the mom, Blair, could care less. I'm sorry, you were saying, Whoa. lie down. <laughs> There's a, um, lie down. I know, you're a bored mama. <laughs> she is. I've got the puppies and you don't care. <laughs> no. And she does, like I said, bare minimum. She goes in, feeds her puppies, and she's done. <laughs> she's, not a, she's not a dog that's going to yeah, spend it, all the time. She wanted some loving from me, but as soon as they came over and, and started like, no, trying to feed, it's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. She really would like to go on with her life. Just another couple weeks, and then she'll be good to go. If you see sheep or goats around town, they are probably part of Brian's flock. They are used to clear land and provide a chemical-free alternative to keep invasive plants out of parks. It all centers around this dog, still used around the world because of that instinct to leave no animal behind. Every day is magic. I mean, you know, I, amazing things happen with dogs and sheep. Uh, not that long ago, I sent a dog, lie down, lie down, to go and gather up sheep and nothing happened, and it's very unusual. Normally the dog will go down, start get behind the sheep, and start bringing the sheep back. So I was really worried, you know, something's happened. And I go down, and I, I, I'm calling for my dog, and I, I'm not seeing him, and it was Neil. And I, I finally get him to come back, and he runs, say, halfway the distance from where I see him coming from, looks at me, and he turns around and goes back, and he says, no, I'm not leaving this area. So I go down there, and I've got a, a you having a little tiny lamb. You know, and, and it was kind of out of season, so it was a surprise for us. We generally only have lambs he would in December, not leave January. That. Nope, he said, no, you know, I can't bring, you know, the, the goal of a border collie is to fetch the entire flock back. And, and so he's, he's got a member of his flock back there. And, you know, they take, I Giving think, birth. Totally. That is the essence of a border collie. I'll get your sheep moving, but I'm not leaving any of my flock behind. Now, border collies aren't for everyone. They require a lot of exercise and mental stimulation. They're not just gonna sit around all day. And if they get bored, they can chew shoes or even a hole in the wall. Just a heads up.